so this is my review of the 2020 Nissan uh, Rogue. This is only the second car I've driven that actually has a uh, push button start. So you gotta push on the brake. To get it to get it to start with push button start. The first car the only other car I've driven so far that has push button start is um a Lexus RX 350 so anyways um, like I'm renting this car from thrifty car rental and I will be doing a promise you I'll be doing a review on thrifty car rental soon I can't give you an exact time but I will be doing one soon um so far I'm quite I'm very impressed with this car. I don't really have, like on a scale, on a, on a scale of one to five stars, five stars being excellent, one star being lousy, I'd give this car four and a half stars out of five. Acceleration is pretty good. I have no problem merging getting up to highway speed and merging with highway traffic. The speed limit here in Ontario is a is 100 kilometers an hour, with a few exceptions, a, a few small stretches of highway that are 110 kilometers an hour, but for the most part, it's 100 kilometers an hour. I have no problem getting up to 100 kilometers an hour. The audio system is pretty decent. I wouldn't mind if it went a little bit louder, but that's just me. You know, it's got the automatic headlights and also automatic high beams as well too. So in case you don't know, automatic headlights, you just turn it to the auto, um, turn it turn it to auto and the headlights will come on when necessary. So you don't have to worry about switching the headlights on and off. And you can even set the high beams in auto as well too. So that if you're driving through a really dark stretch of road, the high beams will just automatically turn on but as soon as they detect other vehicles around you, then the high beams will turn off. We'll go back down to low beams. Um, I guess it's classified. I don't know whether this be, would be classified as a compact or a midsize SUV. I think Thrifty's classifies that as a midsize SUV. Um, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Um, and it's a far cry better than the last car that I rented, which was a Volkswagen Golf. If you haven't watched those three previous videos that I did last weekend about the Volkswagen Golf, uh, go ahead and do so. And I'll tell you about all the uh, complaints that I have about the Volkswagen Golf. There's certain things about it I didn't like, but this car, you know... Everything is expect is the way I expect it to be. 
Like I've found so far, you have two um, USB uh, jacks for plugging in um, charging cords to charge up your phone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever. It's also got um, a, it's also got like a cigarette lighter jack. I can't think of what you call it, but I managed to plug my um, my dash cam into that. I like the display of the dashboard. You know, it shows you approximately how many kilometers that I have 103 kilometers approximately until my gas runs out. The space is fairly decent. Now, getting to why I've given this car four and a half out of five stars, I wouldn't mind a little bit more leg room. I'm not cramped or uncomfortable like I don't find it cramped or uncomfortable or too bad but I wouldn't mind being able to stretch my legs out just a little bit more like I am six foot one or 185 centimeters so even though the leg room's not horrible I wouldn't mind being able to stretch my legs out a little bit more because even in cars like the the Kia Rio Hyundai Accent, Toyota Corolla, and the Kia Forte. I was able to stretch my legs right out. It's a matter of fact, in the Kia Forte, it had so much leg space that I could not put the seat right back. So a little bit more leg room would be, would be kind of nice. It handles okay as well, too, um, like taking corners and that kind of stuff. There's not a huge amount of body lean. The steering is a little bit soft, a little bit vague feeling, but, you know, it's nothing that you can't get used to. Yeah, the body lean, like when I take corners and all that, the body lean, the body roll is pretty comfortable. Like, because, you know, if you drive like certain SUVs and pickup trucks, there's excessive body lean and it almost feels like the vehicle is going to tip over or something. I don't get this in the Nissan Rogue. Fuel economy has been okay so far. It's a 55 liter tank. And um, so it's not like I'm dealing with like a an 80 liter tank here. So it shouldn't cost too much to fill it up. There's no no unique features about this car, nothing nothing weird or quirky about oh yeah it's an all-wheel drive by the way too i don't know if all nissan rogues are all-wheel drive but this particular one anyways at least is an all-wheel drive so that certainly comes in handy living in canada where we get our fair share of snow and we have to deal with ice on the roads as well too you know all-wheel drive certainly can come in handy I guess the only negative to all-wheel drive is that all-wheel drive can cause the vehicle to consume a little bit more gas than, say, a front or rear-wheel drive. But, you know, all-wheel drive is a nice plus with um, when, you're, when you're driving in, in, in Canadian winters. I haven't had the opportunity to try this vehicle out in snow or ice. And I'm not going to get that while well, there's supposed to be some snow tomorrow or there might even be a snow rain mix. So if I do get to try it, drive on any accumulated snow tomorrow, I'll let you know how it handles. But truth be no told, I hate driving in snow and ice. So I try to minimize how much driving I do in snow and ice. But that's about it though. Um... Yeah, no real complaints about it, except wouldn't mind a little bit more leg space. It's got power seats as well, too. And, you know, the usual stuff like heated seats um, and all that. So if I have any more anything else to say about this car, I'll make another video and and uh, tell you about that so four and a half out of five stars i would definitely recommend a nissan 
2020 Nissan Rogue. I'm I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy I rented this. Like normally, I rent um, I rent the smallest, cheapest car I can find. So, which me which is an economy car, something like a Nissan Micra, Hyundai Accent, Kia Rio, Toyota Yaris, um, Chevy Spark, Mazda Two, Mitsubishi Mirage. Yeah, generally I go for the cheapest, smallest car I can find because because it's cheaper to rent and also uses less gas. But um, I set up this rental kind of as a last minute thing and it gave me this special where I could rent it from Thrifties for two days for $65 including tax, unlimited kilometers. But anyways, um, as I say... I am going to be doing videos about the various car rental agencies I've dealt with, like Thrifties, uh, Budget, Dollar Rent-A-Car. Also, um, I don't think I've done a video about Priceline as yet. I might have, but I don't think so. I'll check my channel to see if I have, and if I haven't done one yet, I'm going to do a video about Priceline as well. And I'm also going to do a video about... Um, about rental uh rental rental car insurance. I think it's rentalcover.com. I'll have to check the name of the car rental insurance that I put on this car, but I would definitely recommend putting rental car insurance on, whether you get lost damage waiver, whether you, you have your own personal auto insurance that covers rental cars as well too. Whether you have rental car insurance through your uh credit card company or whether you purchase it from a third party, like online, separate from the car rental agency, I definitely recommend car rental insurance. I'm going to do a video about that as well, too. Okay, stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to have a lot of interesting and informative videos coming up.